So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a self-watering container. It's pretty simple. Basically all we need is just a, a basic pail. In this case it's a seven gallon pail. Now the top I'm using is actually for hydroponics. It came from a hydroponics store. They cost about three dollars and essentially what it is is one of these net pots and the hole cut out of the lid. The net pot goes in and your plant goes inside. Now we're going to reverse that and we're going to place this into the bottom of the bucket with the net pot on the bottom. So we'll fill the net pot up with the media and that will wick the water up into the system. So the first thing we need to do is to be able to get this lid to fit inside the bucket on the bottom. So to do that we're going to cut the top of the lid out so that it will fit the diam interior diameter inside. So I found the best way to do this is just to get a knife and to score right along the edge and just keep moving it across. Alright, so now you have the top of the lid that's going to fit the interior. Now we're going to want to keep this part for later. So what you're going to be able to see now is that this fits the interior diameter of the bucket. The idea is, is that we can now take the net pot and place it underneath. And you can see that that's now going to support the top of the lid so that when we put dirt in it, the dirt won't fall down into the reservoir area below. Okay, now we need to create a fill hole on the bottom of the bucket. So we're going to use a 7 8 drill bit and create a hole that's just right at the bottom. So the way to see this is that your your bottom isn't exactly the bottom of the bucket because there's a there's a small lip. So you just want to find slightly above. You can feel that the bucket bows out slightly. So we're going to drill as close as we can to the bottom to have our hole sitting at the bottom of the barrel. So you're going to want to clean out the hole of any sort of debris. We're going to be attaching a grommet, which will just create a plug at the bottom. So get yourself some uh, half inch grommets. They're really cheap. They cost about, uh, I think I paid two bucks for this entire bag of 25. And what you're going to need to do is press fit this right into the hole like so. Alright, the next thing I have is this uh, half inch 90 degree angle. Um, essentially what this is going to do is plug into the hole that we have the grommet in and create a watertight seal and then we're going to be able to use the other angle to fill the water down inside. Now you can see basically what's going to happen is we're going to be able to fill the water from this pipe up here. It's going to go into here, into the side, and into the bucket down below. Now that we have the fill nozzle in place, we're going to want to take a piece of clear tubing that has a half inch diameter. And we're going to measure up a length. to the top of the bucket. So about like that. You can probably cut this with a knife. Uh, I prefer just these uh, pipe cutters. Makes a nice clean cut. Okay, so we have our fill tube that we've measured to the top of the bucket and we'll just go ahead and fit that to the fitting. Okay. Now, we don't want this fill tube to be flopping around in the breeze, so what we're going to do is we're going to fix it to the bucket. So, right about sort of a, an inch to two inches down, what we're going to do is we're going to drill two pilot holes, and that will hold a zip tie. So, just one hole on either side.
All right, so we're gonna feed our zip tie through the first hole. And back it around through the second hole. And just go ahead and secure it. All right, so now we have uh, our zip tie secured. That's gonna hold the fill nozzle at the top and keep it from flapping around everywhere. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta create a drain. Now this drain is gonna keep us from overfilling the bucket, okay? So what we need to do is see how deep the water is gonna be. Now remember where I told you there's that uh, little bump? We're gonna start measuring the container from that bump. And that puts us to right about there. So, put a hole there, that's gonna end up being our drain. That way when the water starts moving up as we fill the bucket, it'll hit the drain, the drain will spill out, we'll know the bucket's full enough. So what we're gonna do now in order to keep the base from wobbling around and potentially falling off, is we're just gonna attach it with some zip ties. So what we need to do is just punch a few holes into the side. So we'll just take the drill and place a few holes. Okay, we're going to use a few zip ties. That will go in and around. And attach the bucket underneath. And we'll just do that on both sides. Okay, we're good and secure. You can place that at the bottom of the bucket and now we're ready for soil. In order to build this soil we need three ingredients. First one is equal parts peat moss. Then we're going to add equal parts of pyrolite and then equal parts compost. Now we're going to get our hands dirty and give it a good mix. All right, so when you're done mixing it up nice and good, you should end up with something that looks a lot like this. Now what's important to remember when filling the container is you want to make sure that the bottom net pot is quite compacted. This will allow the wicking action to bring the water up. Okay. Once we got an even layer on the bottom, then we can start adding it in larger quantity. And we're going to stop every few minutes and just make sure it's packed down nice and tight. And we're going to want to maintain this pack down technique until we get about halfway up the barrel. Alright, so we're halfway up right now and what that's going to do is make sure that all the water in the reservoir can wick its way up till about this point. Now we're going to be able to keep our soil a lot looser and this will allow good root growth. Now at the end, we're going to add pure compost to the top and we're going to build the top sort of as a small hill. What this is going to do once we have the weed barrier on is allow the water to drain off to the sides. Now this next step is optional but I'm going to add some fertilizer just around the edges. All right, so I just added this uh, Miracle Grow Shake and Feed. Um, I'm sure you can find um, an organic solution out there if you wanted to use fertilizer um, and do this project organically. But I do think that adding the fertilizer is going to help. So that's one step that uh, is good to do before you put the weed barrier on. And for the weed barrier, simply all you have to do is get a black garbage bag. And just go ahead and tear it open and then we'll just take the piece of it and drape it right over the top. If 
if you remember from earlier, I asked you to keep the little lid that we cut out. And we can just use that and secure the garbage bag on top. Then you can just use your knife and trim off the excess. And now what we're going to do is plant our seedling. And in order to do this, all you need, simply need to do is just get a rough estimate of the size of the container that your seedling comes in. And then I just poke four holes just kind of to give me a map of where it is. And then following that map, we just cut a crisscross to expose the soil. Now that we have the soil exposed, we can go ahead and just clear it out so that we can fit the seedling inside. All right, I'll just take the garden hose and fill her up. Now once the reservoir is completely full, we'll be able to see the water coming out of our container. And then we can take a Sharpie and just mark the water level. And this way we'll have a good gauge to be able to tell when the water is getting low inside of the reservoir. And now hopefully in 60 days we have ourselves some tomatoes. We'll talk to you then.